Conventions are traditionally rather boring state affairs. One thinks of people peddling new auto parts, insurance policies, or caskets. Tonight, though, we're going to take you to the Mermania Mermaid Convention. Here's my Nightline co-anchor, Juju Chang. No shirt? No shoes? No problem. Welcome to NC Mermania 2017. Hi. Yep, this is a mermaid convention. Merfolk, both amateurs and pros, diving in for a weekend of fun, flair, and fins. Being a mermaid means being the bridge of fantasy and reality. From underwater posing workshops to offbeat modes of transportation. Here we go, back to the big pool. These diehards are making waves, wowing in tales that can cost up to $5,000, all brought together by a shared, albeit unique, hobby. It was Daryl Hannah who first made a splash. What are you doing, sweetheart? Taking a bath. Can I come in? No! Then it was Ariel's turn as the Little Mermaid. Under the sea. Under the sea. Now it's Hannah Burgess who says for her it's about pushing fun <laughs> and fantasy. These are one of my favorite parts of my room. They are handmade by me, jellyfish lanterns. We met the 21-year-old art and design student at her college in Virginia. This is fish netting that I got to actually make tops with. Although hours away from the ocean, she's found a way to bring the sea to her. Here is a jar of sand from the Outer Banks, which I collected myself. This room is kind of like my mermaid grotto. Dubbed Nova Sirene, the Virginia mermaid, Hannah teaches and performs nationwide, making a splash online with 20,000 Instagram followers. But she's quick to acknowledge that it's an uncommon gig. A lot of people really don't understand what I mean when I say I'm a mermaid. I know I'm a human, but I just really enjoy dressing up as a mermaid and entertaining children, swimming in coral reefs and just doing really special things that not a lot of people get to do. On this day, Hannah is packing for the annual mermaid convention. And let's just say the dress code is very specific. This one was custom made for my measurements and I picked the paint job and all of that. And so this one cost me $2,100. The starfish are made out of silicone too, and it's very glamorous. It has a lot of sparkly things on it. She's set and ready for what promises to be a fantastic weekend. They say it's better under the sea, and these guys really mean it. Being underwater is an extremely exhilarating feeling. Your adrenaline is pumping, and you're kind of scared, but also partly being relaxed and enjoying the fact that you're underwater. Here at one of the largest mermaid gatherings in the world, we meet Chris Obraki, an actor turned merman, who's been part of this community for the past four years. I would call a professional mermaid a giver of dreams. Go get that dream. Go be you. Chris says a big motivator for him is upping the image of men in the merfolk industry. I want to create a world for them, or at least help create a world for them where they don't have to be afraid. I was, you know, I was picked on in school for my love of the ocean. When I set out to be this character, I wanted to make it a safe haven for other men and just be a role model and be an inspiration for them and break down as many doors as I possibly could. It's just what I do, it's my job, and it's, it's the job that I wanted to do. And I just keep, I, you know, to quote Dory from Finding Nemo, I just, I just keep swimming. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. It's just an amazing feeling to know that I've made an impact on a lot of people in this business, and people that, or people that are looking to join the business. So it's, it's, it's wonderful, it's very overwhelming. 300 participants from around the globe have traveled to this meetup to socialize. Check out the latest gear. These are our uh, $3,000 silicone tails. And to attend seminars about all things mermaiding. Know, know what you're wearing and what you're doing underwater. Husband and wife duo Amanda and Joseph Kaiser are coaching these students on how to strike a pose while submerged. Yeah, there it is. Taking them from classroom to pool to test their moves. Hannah, the veteran, stunning in these underwater shots. I learned a whole lot about 
breath control, buoyancy, and things like that. And we had some good laughs while we looked at some of the candid photos. So it's been really fun. Hannah says her mermaid obsession began as a child, like many here, watching Ariel in action. Up where they walk, up where they run, up where they stay all day in the sun, wandering free. Wish I could be part of that world. When I was a child, I would actually put both of my legs inside one uh, pant leg in my leggings when I was a kid and have diving flippers and I would go in hotel pools and uh, public pools and swim like that. And now she's able to share her passion with other young kids growing up with a taste for fantasy. Who do you think you are, cried the rainbow fish. While some might find it odd, Hannah says at its core, the convention is about bonding with friends. Everyone who comes here has the same love for mermaids and the same love for the water. And we really understand each other and we understand the commitment and creativity that it takes to be a mermaid or a merman. And so I've made so many friends that I can truly say they are my best friends. Friendships that go a little deeper, both above and below the surface. For Nightline, I'm Juju Chang in New York.